Hey guys, it's Tyler from Peregrine, and we're back with another episode of Thank God It's Happy Hour. This week, we're continuing our theme of cocktails and ideas for small gatherings, and tackling a holiday-themed ice ball cocktail. Let's get going. For most of us, COVID-19 is still a daily reality and is definitely gonna impact how we spend the holidays. That means smaller groups and definitely a lot less travel than we might be used to. But that doesn't mean that we should completely give up on celebrating altogether. There's still a whole lot of ways that we can make a small group of people feel really special and create memories like we want to. Ice ball cocktails are a really great option for this because while they really appear quite challenging and difficult to make, they're not that hard and they definitely can turn an average cocktail into something that's a lot more memorable and engaging for the people drinking it. It's also a great way to share something with someone even if they're six feet or 600 miles away. So let's get going. So to begin, we're gonna need these. These are spherical ice molds. They're pretty common nowadays and you can probably get them on Amazon or like local drink shops. And to make our hollow ice ball, you're gonna fill the mold as you normally would. Try to make sure that you get all of the air out of your mold as this will definitely result in a stronger, more stable ice ball. You can drain off that excess water. And we just pop this in the fridge for about two hours. At the end of the first two hours, you wanna flip it over again so we get an even shell of ice. And then after those two hours are done, we're ready to go. At this point, you should have a completely solid ball of ice, but it will not be frozen all the way through. Now to drain the water out, we can use something like a metal skewer, but I find that one of these marinade injectors is a great option. We're gonna be using this to add the cocktail later, so it makes sense to use it here. We're just gonna heat up the tip with something like a torch and melt a small hole in the ice to drain the water out. Once our ball is empty, we can set it back in the freezer for later, in the mold or in a plastic container. As you can see, this process is pretty straightforward and might take a little bit, but once you've made one, it's pretty easy to make a couple more. And now it's time to make our drink. Since we're going for presentation on this one, we're going to base it on one of the house drinks from Empress Gin, but with a couple tweaks here to make it a little bit more holiday appropriate. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up the components that actually go inside the ice ball. It's a pretty simple recipe. We're gonna do half an ounce of our grapefruit juice, three quarters of an ounce of our cranberry juice and then we want a half ounce each of our maple and our mezcal okay and then we're just going to shake this guy up with ice And I'm just gonna pour this guy out into this intermediate container really quick. Then we can grab our injector, just go ahead and collect some of the cocktail, and we can go ahead and inject into these balls. In our serving glass, we're gonna add our ice ball very carefully, and then we're gonna pour out an ounce and a half of Empress Gin, and slowly pour over the top. This is how you'd serve your, your guests their cocktail, and when it's time to drink it, we're gonna take a page out of Cocktail Chemistry's book and use a nut on a rubber band to easily and safely crack our ice ball. When you do, the color of the gin should change as the two parts combine together. So there you go, there's our holiday ice ball cocktail. Let's give it a taste. It's definitely one that has quite a long evolution. There's definitely a lot of different flavors in there that are coming forward right off the bat. They're actually on the nose. You smell the mezcal. It's got that nice smoky uh, mezcal aroma. And then the citrus juices and the gin and the maple all sort of come together right at the beginning in this really interesting sort of flavor. It's sort of Christmassy and warm, but then also has like a freshness to it as well. Yeah, and then as it evolves, it definitely hands back off to the mezcal and the maple sort of do a little dance together there. So it's definitely a really interesting cocktail and the presentation and the flavors definitely uh, match up in terms of the impression that they give. It's a great one. So this is definitely a cocktail that requires a little bit of work ahead of time to prepare, but in my mind, it's definitely worth it and pays off in a big way. COVID has definitely, like I said, changed the plan uh, this holiday season and we're meeting in smaller groups. 
Now, this may seem like a bummer right off the bat, but in my mind, it's a great opportunity to try something new and try something that wouldn't really work for a big group. Ice wall cocktails are great for this because they are a little bit harder to prepare. I wouldn't want to make 20 of them, but for a small group, it's a really great way to start a new tradition or mark up the end of a year that's been really difficult for a lot of people. So if you're gathering in smaller groups, show the people in that group that you care and go the extra distance with the small details for your celebrations this year. Uh, it's a great way to still gather and have a special holiday season um, with your friends and family. So thanks for joining us. If you like this video, be sure to leave us a like, comment, or subscribe. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.